He is so silly. Mm -hmm. He's yes, a silly he man. <laughs> Yes, yes, he is silly. I mean, he, he's completely out of his depth, but, but he refuses to accept that appraisal of himself. He, he is determined to be a secret agent. He loves it. He loves the world of secret. He loves the cars and the girls and the clothing and the, and the exotic locations. <laughs> but clearly, he's underqualified for the job that he has. And, and the critical joke about Johnny English is that he's not as good as he thinks he is. But sometimes you want to just slap him and, and then you <clears> want to cuddle him. He, he is only called upon. His services are called upon because everybody else gets yes, wiped out. Yes, because everyone else is gone. Yes, He's exactly. the only one. He's the, yes, exactly. There's a choice, but there's only a choice <laughs> of one. And working with Emma Thompson again, which yes, is great. Yes. She says you're the modern-day Charlie Chaplin, oh. which is a massive, huge compliment. Yes, but I guess yeah. it's that kind of physicality, it's that physical comedy yes. that we see in Johnny English and, and obviously Mr. Mr Bean as well. Yes, I like physical comedy and I, you know, I enjoy it and there's a lot of... I always seem to end up doing some silly dancing in almost any movie do. I do, as either Mr Bean or Johnny English, <laughs> and we then there's really quite a lot of it in Johnny English Strikes Again. Good dancing. Um, Good oh, well, well, dancing. Well, thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> uh, I, wish I, I, wish, I wish I could blame some choreographer for what I do, but sadly, <laughs> it's just me mucking it's about. It's just you. No, but it was good fun. It's just it me good improvising. Fun. Well, yeah, no, it's definitely a, a fun aspect of the film. And generally, there's a lot of simple visual jokes yeah, you know exactly. that's what we like in, in is food. it true mr bean was going to be mr cauliflower or was going to be mr another vegetable yes we were going through the vegetables <laughs> cabbage cabbage and mr. cauliflower it would have been different it would, would it wouldn't it no same? bean is just short sharp and to the point yeah, mr. something bean, very economic you know single syllable absolutely bean. it really does yeah. and global though around it's absolutely yes. everywhere no and they and the and even though i personally have absolutely zero presence on social media Mr Bean has a very strong presence Indeed on social does. media. Endless, endless folk who, who's, who's, who seem to want to become... Mr Bean? His they want to be Mr Bean? I want to go but, out with Mr Bean, which would be slightly strange. You would strange. not. No, oh, no. You would want to romance no, Mr Bean. I, I remember early on in the life of Mr Bean getting lots of letters from, from people saying, oh, I'd love to have dinner with Mr Bean. How hilarious that would be. He's a very, very selfish individual. He very, is, he's a child. Because you know. yes. I know you love cars, no, but I know. you love well, cars, but not as trophies. You love them to drive. Yes, I'm. A, Properly I'm, drive I'm, them. I'm a, I hope that I'm a driver more yeah. more than a collector. Than a collector. And uh, <laughs> and so we needed a car because I always like to have cars in Indeed. things that I do. And uh, uh, as it happens, I thought that a 1979. Aston Martin Vantage would have been the best idea. So that's what we used, and, it, and it's, it was a total delight. I love your work, I have to say, but the thing that I loved the most, Blackadder. Oh, right, good. Elizabethan Blackadder. Oh, uh, right. You, were, you became a sex symbol because ah, of that. Oh, pish. With, no, no, it's not all pish. It's true. Look, look, it was, the, ah, yes. it was just the whole persona, mm. and you really suited the outfit, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say. Yeah, I... That costume... Yeah, sadly, I haven't had occasion <laughs> to wear. Yeah, what no, it, no it, was, it was great, and it was a, it was a great time, the Blackadder. Oh, brilliant. And of course, rather bizarrely, the Black Adder was 80s, wasn't it? You, you, yeah. You, you forget. I mean, I know. you know, by the end of the 80s, we'd sort of done it. Um, 1989, I think, was the last series that Gosh, we made. That's in incredible. The first world you could do a future time Black Adder, maybe. Um, yes, you could. We, we could. We, we, you could do a present one. Um, <laughs> I mean, there are. Yeah, he's. I, I, I like the fact, and it's been tremendously advantageous, I think, for the show that it's all set in a period context, because yeah. it means that it doesn't age mm. uh, the way that the modern sitcoms That's have. True. You yeah, know, an 80s so. sitcom, well, it looks like an 80s sitcom. Indeed. Whereas one set in the 16th century, you think, oh, yeah, well, that's the 16th <laughs> century. And, it, and it, uh, you know, and you can relate yeah. to it in the same way now as you could. Yeah, you can. And that 80s. brilliant one in World War One, where you go over the yes. top yes. and it just turns into a field of poppies. Yes. It's one of the most moving things I've ever seen. And I think because it happened in a comedy, it just, it was actually getting a punch. Mm. It was so powerful. So, no, it so was powerful. a very strange week that we recorded that last episode because, you know, we used to rehearse for five days and yep. then record the entire episode in front of a studio audience on one day. Right. Uh, and throughout that week, because, you know, we go over the top at the end mm. in a very tragic moment at the end of that episode, and throughout that rehearsal week, I had this thing yeah. in the pit of my stomach, even though I was just an actor playing yeah. a part, that you felt the dread of what was going to happen to you at the mm. end of the week. Even though it was only in a fictional way, yeah. you really did feel it. It was the most ex extraordinary 
week of my life in professionally because you yeah, I woke up in the morning thinking oh wow. oh I'm gonna die at the end of the week <laughs> I mean maybe you know maybe I've done too much comedy and people who do serious uh, roles all the time if, the, if if they are going to have their heads cut off at the end of the scene it, it doesn't kind of hold them this much you know maybe yeah. well maybe they are haunted <laughs> I mean maybe if you do die more often than yeah. I do in in a fictional context you you feel it in a non-fictional sense but it was very illuminating that